All right, career resume of Blake Coleman, a.k.a. Pickles. Uh, this guy's won the cup a couple times. He's quite the piece to that team, too. Remember that line? Huge trade. Yeah, Huge trade monster. for Tampa, bringing him and Barkley Goudreau in. And then and Yanni Gord, them and Yanni Gord, that kind of third line was sick. set the new standard yeah. of third yeah. lines to win Stanley Cups. And let's get right into it. A little players only time as we welcome in the man we were just speaking of, looking like he is thawing out still from the Heritage Classic with the Duke on. I love it. Hey, uh, Blake, how what, what was the temperatures like? Any adjustments you made with your gear? How many? I, I don't even know. Did you play in an outdoor game before? Give us all the goods. Uh, was, yeah, it was my third outdoor game. I was lucky enough to play two in college. A um, little bit different, obviously, but uh, it was good. I, honestly, aside from the outcome, the the setup there was pretty awesome. Uh, the weather was good the whole time. The ice wasn't too bad. So uh, really, it was, just, it was a fun experience. You know, I got to get some family up there, which is cool to share it with them. And uh, I didn't have many complaints, honestly. Hey, you know what? Uh, these guys can hop in on this, too, if, uh, for the outdoor experience, even dating back to college. Though, I don't know how, what it was like for you guys here, but I, in our experience, or at least my experience, like the day before, you know, you have your practice. You're always preparing for the worst, right? There's a table set up of all the gear. You can have the cold gear, this, that, you know, all these different things. And everyone's sitting there, and you got the eye black on, and you're doing all this stuff. And then when it gets to game time, or remember after warm-ups, come in the room, guys like, get this off of me. I want to go with what I wear in the arena. Did you have any experience like that? Uh, yeah, there was a lot of guys that I feel like it was the guys that hadn't played in one. Uh, like I said, I was thankful enough to be able to have played in one. And uh, the two that I did were in Soldier Field in uh, Chicago, so windy and cold. But same thing, I wore all that, that heat gear, the Adidas stuff. Really just pumped you get all the new swag and then uh, <laughs> take, take it all off pretty quick uh, after your first 10 minutes on the ice. So uh, the, the skate the night before the practice was pretty cool. I remember my ears going numb, but uh, game day was was pretty perfect, and I don't think anybody ended up wearing that stuff. Is that your youngest on the ice there? Yeah, that was her first time, her first few steps on the ice. I mean, it was uh, it was really just tough on the back, but you know, it was <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> there, there. That's yeah. great. That's awesome. Uh, so, growing up in Plano, Texas, I believe, probably not too many outdoor uh, games or outdoor rinks out there. What was that like, minor hockey, growing up? in Texas, uh, probably a little different than, than what you're seeing minor hockey wise in Calgary. Yeah, it's a lot different. I mean, it's grown a lot since I was a kid, but, um, I think that's kind of what made it so cool for me. It was, I never got to skate on outdoor rinks growing up. So the three or four times that I did, um, you know, I remember it like it was yesterday and it was really special for me. And, um, it was usually during a youth tournament up in Minnesota or Michigan, but, um, you know, the memories that the whole team looks back on 10 years later and, and still remembers it, you know, like I said, like it was yesterday. And, um, you know, now I, I get to take my girls out on the pond. We got one uh, two minute walk from our house. So uh, they're, they're everywhere up here. And uh, I think it's really cool that they get to experience a lot of things that, that I didn't growing up. And, um, and you know, it's going to be a different memory for them. Well, Pickles, we, we see the hair kind of flowing outside the toque there. Do you, uh, do you still have the same routine before games, making sure that's just right? And if so, how did that uh, altitude outdoor game, was was the hair on point in warm-ups for that game, buddy? Uh, it didn't freeze oh, on you, right? On. Yeah, we had the toque on. So, oh, okay, uh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I pretty much only go no bucky now when uh, my kids are there because they don't recognize me otherwise. So <laughs> nice. that's kind of the way I do it. I, uh, I just see if they're at the game and then I'll, I'll do it for them. But... Um, you know, maybe stay away from the net a little bit more than I would if I had it on. So I'm not as tall as you and uh, and Robert, <laughs> so stuff seems to hit find my face a lot easier. Hey, stuff found my face too, but I had a mask on for <laughs> I was just I'm just jealous of the hair he's, he's still got flowing those nice golden locks. It's nice. I it is nice. Uh, I I never went buckets off and in, uh, in warm up uh, didn't really need to with with not much hair, but I wasn't allowed to in Jersey. Right. Lou Lamarillo wouldn't let us do it, right? So I never, you know, got to really experience that. By the time it was later though, I remember one time we were playing at MSG and I was the guy in warm ups, you know, setting up the next Setting up the next thing, right? Are you the puck next, guy? I was the puck guy. Oh, sick. Well, I was until this day, and I was <laughs> I was I was puck guy, and I was at MSG, and I'm standing there, and what I used to do is the the crossbar. I started learning. I put my chest against the crossbar, head over the net, and when I'd be fishing pucks out, because then if it hits the bar, 
Like, it's not coming up in my face, like, because it's going, you know what I'm saying? Like, you try <laughs> to, crazy. it's nuts. But you stand there, and I'm He's in the it. net, right? It clear as day, you can see me, and you just hear, bing, bing, <laughs> bing. You turn around, I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. I took one right square in the face here, and I went in and got stitches, got stitched up uh, during warm-ups, got get, uh, coming out for the first period, and the coach pulls me aside, he goes, uh, you're, you're scratched tonight. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, I got stitches. So I get out here. I mean, warm-ups are nuts, though. Like, uh, you know, you could sewer some guys here. You got some guys just throwing them around the glass in warm-ups? Yeah, we got a lot of high and hard and not many hitting the net in warm-ups. So uh, that's part of the reason why the bucket went back on uh, once I got here. But uh, we've had we had a few fluky ones. I think Luch took a, a puck that went crossbar and 100 feet in the air and split him open in, uh, I want to say it was Vancouver. And I think we've had three or four stitched up from warm-ups. So we uh, we keep it interesting for sure. I used, to, I used to always skate around and scream loud noises because everybody <laughs> likes to shoot it off the glass. I don't, know what I don't know what the benefit of that is, but I always figured you guys just like to hear the sound of the glass. Um, I grew up in Calgary. I'm a Calgary guy. Just wanted to know what, uh, where are you living in, in town? What's your thoughts on the city and uh, what's your favorite place to go eat? Uh, we started out in, uh, gosh, what was it called? It was about 25 minutes outside of town, town uh, Elbow Valley. Um, we started in a rental out there and felt like a little bit of an Airbnb just with the mountain view and uh, it was just fresh and quiet and we really enjoyed it. But, um, you know, driving on ice wasn't really our thing being from Texas. So we tried to get as close as we could when we bought a place and we ended up buying in, uh, I don't know if you're familiar, Roxborough. It's just kind of right off Mission downtown. So um, everything's really convenient now and it's about a four minute drive to the dome. So that's pretty easy for me. And um, we enjoy it. We really love it here. It's It feels a lot like Texas. So uh, take the weather out of it. Uh, the people and, and uh, the setup's pretty similar. So it's easy living for me and my family. And um, I guess restaurants, it's sneaky good food scene here. I think uh, I wasn't really expecting that when I got here, but uh, they got that Shokin in here with the uh, the chef that was on one of those TV shows and uh, Chef Darren there, and he treats us well. And that's probably our favorite go-to spot for date night. Big country guy? Were you good, country music, or what's your what's your style? Yeah, country music, but I'd be a I'd be lying if I said I was a cowboy. I'd be a fake cowboy, but. Uh, All right, hey, lot, lot most of fake, cowboys are fake cowboys. A lot of fake cowboys you're in Stampede in Calgary. <laughs> a lot of fake cowboys. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Uh, hey, uh, one thing whenever I, we talk about you, we mentioned about the, the cup and how the cups, I should say, plural, and, and how good your guys' line was. But I always think back to you, you've had some crazy goals, man. And every, every time Nuts. I hear Blake Coleman, I'm like, dude, the one-handed, the diving, all these different things. We have these right now. I mean, do you, do you have any stories behind these, like coming to the bench, the boys in the room? I mean, how do you even, how do you even get that kind of lift on that shot? That's selling. incredible. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I just, I think I just have bad edges and I can't stay on my feet. I always end up on my <laughs> I always end up on my back after a goal or my stomach. Um, no stick in your head. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mini mite. I just, they called me the human Zamboni because I always fell over after. Uh, I think it's probably more just bad edges than it is uh, any sort of hidden talent that I have. Well, maybe maybe that's part of it, though. You're, you're, you're on your back. You're going down. You're diving through the air. It's like the, all the optics are, oh, this guy ain't going to be able to shoot this thing. And that's how you get him, man. You got you to gotta kind of trick him a little bit. Yeah, I think it's just more comfortable for me. Um, <laughs> I, I stand up and catch that and shoot it like a normal person. I remember Boiler used to make fun of my shot in Jersey, so he knows. He knows <laughs> I got it mixed up. Well, but, you got? Do you, do you have? Do you have a muffin? Does he? Does no, he have no, a bad no. Shot? Cole, no, do you no, remember no, this? No one has a muffin. What did I tell you in the in the? <laughs> what did I tell you in the goalie drill we were doing with with Roland Melanson? I asked you a question. Do you remember what the question was? No, I just remember you making fun of my release. You're like, you're not going to score in this league, Bob, with that shot. You no, 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 no. <laughs> we were doing the goalie drill. And speaking of high off the glass, you kept missing the net high. We were trying to warm the goalies up. And I asked you a question. I said, how many goals did you get last year? And you said, one. And I said, you should score way more yeah. than one. You got to hit the net in practice. <laughs> and anyways, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Schneids would always give it to you, too, because you had the same release, but sometimes you'd shoot it low, and sometimes you'd go, like, right by his ear. 
So he was getting yeah. all upset as well and saying, I don't understand where this guy's shooting ever. It's unpredictable. So that's a said, good, hey, hey you're, you're, not, you're not tipping your shot at all. A good idea would be to shoot more, Blake. The goalie has no idea what you're doing. <laughs> no. But neither do we, but you it was what? great. It's Warrior's fault. I used to use a like straight curve, and I asked them to send me some samples, and they sent me a big old banana. Oh, hook he had a banana. I got stuck with it ever since. So that's the only reason it comes off so goofy. <laughs> Those hey, are the hardest guys to them. stop, though. Yeah. When, it, when the same release, but it goes anywhere, there's nothing <laughs> to read. So you don't, you have no idea. You're you're guessing. No. Jason Pominville used to score on me every shot in practice, and I approached him after one time and said, "I hope you think I'm like actually a good goalie, because." <laughs> You must think I'm horrific, but he was the same same type of deal, just exact same release every time, and it would go here, 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 five hole, whatever. Well, Colsey, it's not the <laughs> stick, buddy. It's you. You've done awesome. Uh, do we have another clip of his? We we had the, we oh, had the, the what were you thinking? We now? had the what were you thinking? So this is we want to get into some uh, some pictures. We're going to show you. We just want to know what you're thinking, or maybe you remember these moments in your career. Uh, that was first goal, I think. Yeah, against Dallas. And at home took me uh, took me longer than most guys. I think it was game 17, so I was probably pretty excited at that point to get get something on the score sheet. And uh, you know, for me, it was extra. Cool. Ooh, that's Obviously, nice. being against my hometown team, so that's yeah, awesome. That that's that's nice. That is a nice great, yeah, the, the whole great number too. That is way. nice. That yeah. is actually a nice number. I, I like nice that number. Dupes. That's the small curve, 40. though, isn't it? That was my straight curve. I might go back now. Now watching this. After <laughs> watching that clip. <laughs> hey, but but like it, it, that game's perfect for you, right? Because growing up there, it's like everyone's watching the stars that night back home and in, in, in Texas. Like, I mean, that'd be super cool, right? Yeah, it was fun. Had some friends at the game. Obviously, yeah, not many people were watching uh, Devils games except for when they were playing the stars. So. Uh, I heard from a lot more people. I had more friends than I realized after that game, but uh, <laughs> big friends. But uh, it was it was special. It's actually the way that I met my wife, so uh, it all worked out pretty good. Hey, we uh, I heard through the grapevine that you and the wife are very into going all out on Halloween. So we got <laughs> this is awesome, dude. Like, hey, do you have any other uh, favorite ones over the years? Do you guys hire outside makeup to come in? Like, how's all this work? No, that was we did that makeup just uh, kind of a last second thing, and uh, I got to give her all the credit. She she threw that together, and we just enjoy it. I enjoyed holidays in general. Um, we do up the house for every holiday, pretty big, and um, <laughs> Quadzilla. Yeah, that, was our, that was our first Canadian uh, Thanksgiving. It was like negative five degrees or something stupid up here, but that yeah, looks like a Canadian uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving snow on the ground. That's <laughs> right. October, by the way, in Canada. Yeah, right. it's October. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Castaway. I was, I was a little later back then. That was nice. Yeah. Well, so I mean, any reason to take the shirt off there's there's you could not pay me enough money to take my shirt off when I was playing. Can we people, go back? Hey. Can we go back to the Mad Hatter? You tell me you just threw this thing together. Like you had this outfit. <laughs> Where'd you get the jacket? Uh, the, the, the face paint. She just like was like, I think I could do something real quick before we go. Nice. I was just gonna do like the hair and the shirt and everything. She's I mean, like, no, yeah. you gotta do it. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it. So I was like, all right. So then anyway, found. I think I actually had those dress socks, a gift <laughs> from somebody that I found in the back of the closet. So uh, just kind of all all pieced together real quick. But That's uh, awesome. we enjoy I enjoy the holidays. Well, I'm sure you enjoyed this too. You had. Uh... Here we go. Here's the celebrations. Uh, what What do you remember the most about those moments? Like, it, what's the difference of having it on the ice and then once you get back into the room? Like, it, what kind of – does it feel more, I don't know, personal when you get inside that room with the boys? Yeah, I mean, that was – that's the bubble one, so that one was so unique. Um, honestly, I think that was the best way to do it. You know, I guess it would be similar to if you want it on the road, but – it was literally just us and the staff, and we had just grinded through that two-month uh, setup in the bubble. And uh, man, we were in that. Uh, I can't say too much of what we did, but uh, we were we were in there about two, three in the morning, um, and then we just made that walk over to the hotel and kept going until about six uh, until the bus showed up. So I think that that was almost more special. Um, it was just the group that you want it with. There was no distractions, no, um, nobody there to, to kind of take away from the moment. And then we got to take it home, obviously, 
uh, on the bird and, and meet our families and, and share it. So you got both sides of it versus the second year. It was just chaos and you really only saw your, your family and uh, didn't get to have that kind of quality moment with the boys, which I thought was, was pretty unique and something that made it even more special. Talk about unique, the, the boat parades you guys had there. Um, I mean, this is a great shot. And uh, another another one without the shirt, man. So, uh, you, hey, if you got it, you got to show <laughs> it, man. And uh, there you go. Uh, but I want to ask you real quick, like, from that, all I remember from your guys' parades or celebrations or post-game after winning the Cup is, is Cooch and just <laughs> the way he was. Dude, and I know you probably get that asked this all the time, but every year it's like my game inside the game when we're watching which guy is going to come out. Remember – Remember T.J. Oshie drinking through his shirt. Uh, we had Ovi, here. Ovi swimming in the foul. Ovi, William Carlson last year, like, just taking over the parade Funny. speech. Uh, I mean, was that, like, is that a side to him you've never seen, or is he, like, one of those guys? Because, remember, like, the media doesn't see Evgeny Malkin all the time. That guy's the funniest guy I've ever <laughs> played with, right? Like, is that something you, you got to see because you won the Cup? Uh, yeah, Cooch is – he was – like, he was on a mission to win that Cup. Uh really both years but he just uh i remember i remember him saying like during games at one point like ship it get it deep and i was like all right we're definitely gonna win the cup this guy's like dumping pucks right now and, <laughs> and he, had, he had that serious side to him and then yeah to see him just cut it loose and we won you could tell how much it meant to him and and he uh he was our mvp of celebrating for sure uh <laughs> there were a lot more moments that didn't make the cameras that uh that i'll always remember him him and his celebrating and uh really the russians in general vasi and just sergey and they they just kind of brought out a whole new side of them uh which is pretty fun and then that picture you guys showed if you look real close at my elbow uh on that boat i just came out of the hospital that morning from a staph infection what? um and they released me just to go to the boat parade they were like not in a million years would we release a patient right now but we're gonna let you out wow because we don't we don't want you to miss it and then I went right back in after the boat parade, and uh, they did a surgery on it and cut it all out. And anyway, wow, uh, that's insane! I had no idea. Yeah. yeah, we actually had somebody comment on one of the photos, like, "Hey, uh, I don't know if somebody's told you, but your elbow's severely infected. You should probably get looked." At. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, just on the old IV stick five minutes before that was taken." So uh, that one was definitely a weird one for me. Oh man! Uh, hey, this last one we got one more here, and I think this is awesome. Uh, was this a little mushing? Is that what we call mushing. it? Mushing. A little mushing? In Banff, right? Yeah, yeah definitely mushing. Uh, we decided to go do Christmas in Banff my first year here with some family. And uh, we locked that down probably two months maybe before we went. And we ended up Christmas Eve having to drive out. It was a blizzard, a whiteout. You couldn't see five feet in front of you. Finally make it there. And then we're like, uh, we got dog sledding so we ended up going it was negative 30. um uh, my family's in town from texas or my in-laws were and uh my, i remember my father-in-law had had one of those one of these things just around the the head but no no top on his head and his hairs were frozen so we had to get him a hat and uh we had toe warmers and hand warmers and even that wasn't enough so uh Memorable for some of the right reasons, but a lot of the wrong ones, too. Hey, real quick, Banff, uh, coming from Texas, seeing Banff, I was asking these two. They both been there. I never have. Some of the viewers probably have not, and most probably not. How, how beautiful. How beautiful are we talking? Uh, it's probably a top three place that I've ever been. Uh, golf course out there is unbelievable. You, I like it because you can get it in both seasons, and uh, it's completely different, but really enjoyable. It's, it's the way that we convince family to come up and see us. And uh, they've started coming a lot more often now since they've seen it. Oh, awesome, Bam. Uh, hey, we appreciate you coming on and taking your time with us and sharing all that. And we got to learn something new about him, too, man. The guy's a warrior. And that's goes, crazy a, about your elbow. Yeah, I did not that's know nuts. that. So uh, good <laughs> luck the rest it. of the way. Yeah. And uh, great chat with you.